I don't know who the hell this guy right here is. In this damn May Truck Company. He got all the traffic held up. Hey man, you holding up a lot of traffic out here, bro. I can't move, bro. I'm on, I'm on the DRC block. I can't move until I find a park here. I'm moving for 40 minutes. I can't move. If I'm moving truck, I'm going to be in violation. I already had been in violation. Last like man had to move me across the bridge all the way over here. If you move like less than five miles per hour, you can move. You yeah, just can't go over five miles per hour. No, I'm on the DOT block, but I can't move, period. 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 Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I can't do that, bro. All right. If I do this thing, get my job on the line. Yeah, everybody keep about to hit my truck there. <laughs> and the thing I deal with it, bro, because if I move, my job on the line. I got you. 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 I mean, they got a lot of time to talk. For sure. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, bro, I appreciate it. For sure. So as y'all heard, he can't move his truck. So he'll be in DLT violation. So hey, sometimes I understand that. I don't know why they got these stupid restrictions in place anyway. He used all his personal conveyance and now he had to park. He been in violation once before. Sometimes they always tell you, I ain't gonna say sometimes, they always tell you, hey, you need to uh pre-plan and all this kind of stuff, but Sometimes you just can't pre-plan for some of these accidents and and things that go on on the highway and especially up here in Atlanta. Oh man, it's it's, it's horrible. I know I always say that in every video. These roads, man, it's DOT needs to change these restrictions that they have on us drivers. It's already not enough parking out here. There ain't nowhere to park it, and it's just. And then you only got so much time you can drive. And then they tell you, oh, well, if you get in violation again, then you risk the, the you run the risk of uh, losing your job. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these guys, they just have to pull over wherever they at. And then they'll give you a ticket if you pull over on the side of the road or something like that. It, it, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. You say that my truck can't move after I go past a certain amount of hours. But then, if I pull over on the side of the road, you tell me I'm in violation of that and that I don't supposed to be sitting on the side of the road. I mean, at that point, I don't know what you want me to do. You know what I'm saying? Or what you want us to do. You know, it makes no sense. I know a lot of you guys are frustrated and, and been through some of these things. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all these guys, he holding up everybody. They almost about to hit my truck. So, 
that's the reason why I got out of had to say something or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking about moving, but it ain't nowhere to park at. So I hope one of these guys don't wind up hitting my truck, man. They need to learn. Say he got like 40 more minutes on his clock before he can move. So hopefully he can get the hell on up out of the way. So like I said, he don't run the risk of hitting my truck. Nobody don't run the risk of hitting my truck. You know, these guys hit the drag they trailer across the front of your truck and won't even give a damn. You done tow your whole truck up and then they'll be trying to run and, and, and go hide somewhere. That's why it's best to keep you a camera system. Cause man, I'm talking about man. This is crazy. Look at all these people. He got them all held up. Because he can't move his truck. Because he can't move his truck. I try to bring it to y'all so y'all can understand. You know, from a trucker's point of view, from a trucker's point of view, you got somebody who's sitting behind a desk that's making all these laws and they have no idea what it's like to actually be out here in the field. And for the ones that they keep putting out here, a lot of these steering wheel holders, you know, they don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? They don't know nothing about a CB radio. They don't know nothing about the hammer lane. They don't know nothing about uh, blowout. They don't know nothing about nothing. All they know is hold that steering wheel in between that mayonnaise and mustard. That's all they pretty much know. This is crazy. Now you got, got it to where you could put 18 year olds behind the wheel and they can cross state lines. I don't know. But y'all let me know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Runaway child. And we are out. No!